Hello, everyone. My name is Chris Draconi. I am an education manager. Uh, currently, I'm fellowship program manager at the Cleveland Clinic for the OB-GYN accredited fellowships. And uh, recently, I was going through and I was helping a bunch of people on how to use Zoom for breakout rooms for interviews. And I made a video that I upload to YouTube that had great success and everybody seemed to really like it. So I thought this is a great opportunity to teach other how to's for program administrators, coordinators and managers um, on a regular basis. So I don't know how regular I'll have time to do it, but I'll do it as regularly as I can. Um, today, I'm going to talk about the basics of ARIS uh, for program coordinators. But if you have some other topics or ideas that you'd like to see um, some instruction to, please put them in any of the comments on any of the videos, or of course, email me, which the email information will be at the end of the presentation today. So like I said, today we're going to talk about um, ARIS basics for program, focusing on program coordinator usage of the software. Um, and what I'm going to do, because the ARIS can get really involved, um, I'm going to break it down into several videos based on what kind of information you might be looking for. So you don't have to read through, listen through all of the videos because it's quite a bit of information um, if you need to go to something that you're specifically looking for. So without further ado, I do want to preface by saying that ARIS has many, many wonderful um, webinars on their website. They're focused for the overall view of the software and maybe focus a little more on reviewing applications intensely. So what I'm doing is just uh, giving advice from a program coordinator perspective and um, sharing my own best practice regarding that. So. Let's